This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Monumental Minerals, Dr. Jamil Sater. Jamil, great to have you back on. I know you've been busy. How are you, sir? I'm doing really well. How are you, Gerardo? I am well. Thank you for asking. Listen, let's get right into it. I personally, as a speculator in the resource space, like to gravitate towards early stage exploration stories with teams that do quality exploration work before spending money with the drill bit. And, you know, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a, a perfect example of that. You know, I was fortunate enough to, to participate in a 16 cent financing in a company called Patriot Battery Metals. And the reason I participated in oh, that yeah. is because I knew the team well. I knew the CEO, I knew the technical acumen of the team, and they gave me as a speculator multiple shots on gold. They had a gold property that seemed prospective, and then they had a lithium yep. belt that I really was excited about. And, you know, sure enough, long story short, you know, that company um, made what seems to be one of the most important lithium discoveries in the past decade or so. And, you know, those 16 cent shares have hit a, a recent high as high as $10 a share in just over 12 months, right? 13, 14 months. And so I say all that to say that Monumental just completed its reconnaissance exploration program. And you're defining, you're at that stage now where you're defining drill targets at the Jemmy Heavy Rare Earth Element Project in Mexico. And I wanted to talk about how that process is playing out because this is usually the most overlooked part of the discovery process is what happens before the drill goes to drilling, right? Absolutely. So when we uh, when we did a site visit in April to the project, what we realized is that we, we realized it was quite complicated geologically speaking, and you know to be able to just randomly uh, throw in uh, to start a drill program was going to be premature, and we really didn't we didn't really have an idea of where we wanted to drill. Um, and so what we, we decided is that it was really important to understand technically, to, to really understand the geology, uh, the geophysics, the geochemistry, so that we could, we could, we could really capitalize on, uh, on the money that we have for, for drilling and that we, we, could put, we could put those drills in the best possible locations. Tell me about the targets. You're looking to delineate the rare earth the tantalum and 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 uh, I think the the, uh, the the there's another couple of elements that the project is perspective for. There's a, a pretty pretty large mix here, and I, I I I think it's probably important for you to give everyone a brief primer on why the heavy rare earths are also um, very very important in the global scramble to secure these 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 minerals, right? Of course. So the the, uh, the project is dominantly a heavy rare earth project. That's that's what's most uh, economically important for, for it. Uh, there are light rare earths as well, so neodymium and praseodymium. Uh, and then the other the other um, elements that are also considered, or the, that we also consider potentially economically significant, are tantalum and niobium. So we have tantalum numbers up to or tantalum oxide up to 500 over 500 ppm. And for niobium, we were above the uh, the limit for the lab, uh, so greater than 0.35% uh, niobium oxide. So, you know, we think that, that we've got quite a quite a large basket of uh, of metals here that that are uh, economically important. But of course, the the heavy rare earths are the number one, and and really, it's because at this point there are no other heavy rare earth sources outside of China and ionic clays in China. Mm. So they control over 90% of the heavy rare earth um, business globally. And that's from shovel all the way to um, manufactured goods. Um, so with us actually having a project that's heavy rare earth, and then also having a project that's heavy rare earth that's close to what is, is quickly becoming a regional hub for rare earth manufacturing or manufacturing uh, goods with, with heavy rare earths, mainly, mainly high performance magnets, uh, but also related to, um, to processing. 
we have that in in Texas. So that's right, right, right across the border. So 40 miles from us. So that's one of the things that makes this this project so uh, so important. Um, and and from what we've been able to do with the the exploration, so the the lithogeochemistry, the mapping, the geophysics, what we've been able to really do is. Um, you know, for for at least for one of the areas of interest, we now know where we want to drill, as I was saying before, um, and and this this is really going to help us spend mo- the money that we have from our shareholders the most effective way possible. When do you anticipate getting to the part that most people in this space really want to see, which is that drill bit turning? And and listen, I want to see the drill bit turn as well and see what's down there, see what Mother Nature <laughs> left, right? I just value the work that you've done up until now because it's so critical. Cheesy pun intended. Absolutely. I mean, they don't call drilling the, uh, the truth machine for nothing. That's right. And, you know... We uh, we're still waiting on assay results from about another 260 samples, so we need to get those back, and we need to to process what we see in uh, in the rest of these areas of interest, these other uh, 800 hectares of interest. But we're we're looking to drill potentially at the end of uh, Q1 of 2023. So you know we'd like to drill before it gets gets super hot down there. Um, and, uh, we, you know, but we would like to drill as soon as possible. So as soon as we're able to process this data, process the information and, um, and coordinate drilling, uh, we really want to move forward with it. Jamil, great to get the update. Looking forward to the drilling. Let's have you back soon. I know you have multiple projects, but let's, let's, let's keep it to Jemmy at this point, because I think it, it definitely merits its own um, a set of eyes. Let's 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 do this again soon, and have have a great holiday and a great new year. And uh, let's chat. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, Toronto, and have a great holiday too. Thank you so much. Chat soon. Bye now. All right. Bye. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.